the grand finale Sunday night. There he is, Tim Boyle. No, Aaron Rodgers, number 12, first drive of the game. They got a third and 10. That's good for the Bears D, right? But look at all the time. Time, time. I'm just going to throw a jump off of Monte. Got it. That's becoming a signature for them. We've done it a few weeks in a row. Rodgers just throws it up high. And Devontae has what looks like a 50-inch vertical and goes and gets it. And Rodgers had all day on that one and really all night. Now, Bears get a field goal, though. 6-3, to three, Mason Crosby missed the extra point. But we got the big dog. Watch. They, it's funny when Mercedes Lewis scores because everybody runs to him and starts barking, including Rodgers. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They call him big dog and they just bark. Glenn Robinson. 13-3. Thir 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 Look at Tunyon. Danny Trevathan, and he screamed afterwards. Tanya was pissed off last night and really, really good. Now, again, 13 to 3, looking, 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 waiting, waiting. Lizard! This looks like the reciprocal version of the Devante one on the first series. He jumps in, does a Lambo leap to nobody. Mitch is back, guys. This is kind of cool. We like Mitch. We go way back with him. He's a friend of the show. Nick Foles didn't even dress. Just sitting there in a stocking cap and a mask. And then early, Mitch down 20 to 3. Oh. Fumble, Preston Smith. He gone into the Lambo night. This wasn't it. I mean, he got face masked there. They missed the call on Darius, but he coughs it up. One Smith strips it. One Smith picks it up. He's off and rates 27 to, to 10 now. All right, the Bears got a touchdown. We're going to jump ahead. Rodgers, watch Tunyon here. Just open. Rodgers throws a back foot across the shoulder. This is in the second half now. It's just... 50,000 passing yards, it feels like 49,000 have been against the Bears. It's, it's, it was that kind of night. Cold, barren, you got hugging between LaFleur and Rodgers. Rodgers complimented LaFleur after the game, thought, said he called a great game. 41-25 to 25 because the Bears got some stats on the back end and a few numbers that made it look closer. But this one was a no-doubter for 60 minutes. Here is the orchestrator of that no-doubter, Aaron Rodgers, says this game was really important for the Pack special to be a part of this rivalry. There's a few rivalries like this in, in all of sports. Um, you know, one or two in just about every league. This was a really important game for us. I think uh, we downplayed it in the right way to not put any added pressure on ourselves. Um, but a huge uh, momentum for us winning this one uh, as far as the division is concerned. And, and obviously, we're in the mix for the top seed as well. You certainly are. Okay, Aaron, here's how the NFC is shaking out. After your big win last night, you slide into the number two seed right below the Saints. Chicago still in the hunt. It was not pretty last night. Nate, what did you make uh, after this dominant heartbreaking for me? Heartbreaking for you? Yeah, I like the Bears. That was a tough loss yeah. um, for any Bears fan. What I noticed is that Aaron Rodgers, just like Kyle said when he was reading the highlights, he had all day to throw the ball. Even afterwards, I mean, his jersey wasn't dirty. He had a big smile on his face. Mm -hmm. I can imagine he just hopped on a plane, didn't need to take an ice bath or mm -hmm. hop in a jacuzzi like most guys after they get beat up in a football game. I mean, just look at the time in the pocket. They rush three, drop eight, and he still finds his receiver in the end zone, helmet or higher. Right here, he gets it out quickly. So he can sit in the pocket for as long as he wants to, and then he can get the ball out to his playmakers as quick as possible. So at the end of the game, you're looking at the numbers and you're like, man, I just feel like Aaron Rodgers didn't get touched. And he didn't. Zero sacks, zero QB hits. He had a few pressures, but who cares if you don't actually get to him? And it's not like we're saying this up against a bum defense. Yep. I mean, this is the Chicago Bears. I mean, come on. Now, who cares what happens at the quarterback position? At the very least, the Chicago Bears are vicious on the defensive side of the ball. So it's a message not only to the NFL, but it's also a message to the offensive line. Okay, moving forward, mm -hmm. can we protect our quarterback up against a vicious D-line linebacker group? Because last year, towards the end of the season, they played the 49ers. They got smacked up. Faced them in the playoffs. They got smacked up. So this right here is a confidence builder for Aaron Rodgers in that offensive line. Ooh. Yeah, last week, I was so fascinated to see how he would handle this week after Mar Marquez Valdez Scantling fumbled in overtime, and it's like he gave the game away. And, yeah. and Rodgers was so positive last week and so encouraging. And this week they blow him out. Rodgers is in a different mind spot than he's ever been before. Earlier in the week, he said, I missed kind of Roll Out the Barrel, the song they always would play, the third quarter break, sure. uh, the polka song they would play. Guess what? Packers had fans last night. It was a couple of just friends and family. It was small. But Lambo started to feel like Lambo a little bit, and they played Roll Out the Barrel. They played Jump Around. There was sort of that... I get you get to the playoffs. Look, they've already beaten the Saints with Drew Brees. They've mm -hmm. already beaten them. They are going to be home in some cold weather in the playoffs, which is significant. And Rodgers has dialed in as he's ever been. Uh, Lafleur said he should be getting MVP talk. 
We haven't been doing that on the show. We haven't been throwing him his roses and his bouquets because he can't lose to the Buccaneers the way they did or the Colts the way they did. Rodgers last night, there's no better quarterback in the universe, Mahomes included, than the way Rodgers played last night. He was that good. And if they bring that to the playoffs in the NFC where a lot of quarterback play right now is eh, Green Bay could be representing them in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a fact. And they had the Bears over that barrel. They're their alleged rival. You, know you, guys ever, you guys ever walk out of movies? Like back when we used to go to movie theaters, you ever just walk out? This is the moment you walk out of the movie. I think I've only walked out a couple of movies in my Which life. Which movie? I, I, walked out of, uh, I walked out of one of the Transformers sequels, and I walked out of a movie called She Devil with Roseanne Barr. I'm now, I, this is when you walk out of the 2020 Bears movie. This, this is it. Uh, I, I, you know how, the, how it ends. You're done. You don't really like the story. You don't really identify with the characters. I, I, you still like the franchise. I'll come back for the sequel, but I'm out. Um, Mitch last night was no better than Foles. He actually probably might have been worse. Tony Dungy said the defense effectively quit on national television. Here's the thing. This Bears-Packers thing, it is not a joke. It is not just for de decoration. As The Bears as a company, it's very important to them. 97-year-old Virginia McCaskey was at the game last night. She traveled to Wisconsin in the middle of a pandemic to watch this game and to oversee what had become of her team. Absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible product. And here's the thing. You, the viewer, everybody watching at home, you're probably not going to see the Bears the rest of the year. Their next five games are all against really bad teams. They're all one o'clock kickoff windows. Thank God there's no more national games. But they need a full, they need a full enema, like a full flush. Everything. Mac, Hicks, Fuller, Robinson, come get them. Like we have seen teams, Miami Dolphins, for example, have said, get rid of everybody. We'll go into it and we'll rebuild this entire thing. It's that bad. They're never beating the Packers. They're never beating Rodgers. All of that thing on national television might be a good thing, but it's going to take a couple years. I think they need a full, full control alt delete. You got to walk mm. out of this movie. Offense mm. is offense, and Hicks wasn't playing. Let's talk yeah. defense. What You're happened done. to this defense? Nothing. They just did not show up. And I'm going to ask you, Nate, about it because you mentioned it when you were talking the offensive line a little bit. But they, Eddie Jackson, Roquan Smith, Robert Quinn, no, Khalil Mack, no sacks. That's why we. That's why you're there. It's your literally your entire job. The last time that they, the Bears, an elite defense, a, a top red zone defense in the NFL, the last time they allowed 40 was 2016. The last time they allowed 40 to a division rival was the Packers back in 2014, a long, long, long time ago. Is this an, the energy thing you were talking? I'm really trying to figure this out. Remember how you said Nick Foles brings in energy? They just, they literally did not show up in Green Bay last night. Is this part of that? They did not show up or the Packers played that well. Yeah, I'm Peter's not taking point. anything away from Aaron. Yeah, no, he's, I, I hear you. Only, no, no, that's not He's what dealing you're to Allen. He's dealing to Marseille. Look, he's dealing right now. To I get Peter's it. point, if you don't get to Aaron Rodgers, he's the best quarterback in football. Like, yeah, we can tell you that Pat Mahomes or Patrick Mahomes is the man. But if you give Aaron Rodgers all day to throw, he is the best quarterback in football. So that right there was the problem. Is that they 40 points on the Bears defense. That is, I mean, anybody. In three quarters. Up. It was in 41 three quarters. I mean, they kind of let off the dogs in the fourth quarter. It Tricks. was The score was Vacations are booked. Right? relevant of how bad that. Vacations but they won. That's the thing. They've lost the five cars. in a row. They've Let's go. Let's go to Tahiti. We're out of here. Even That's Tariq it. Cohen. Tariq Cohen, our guy, yeah. tweeting during the game because he obviously wasn't playing in this one. He tweeted, I think we have to blur some of this out probably. Um, thought if I didn't watch, we would play better. Even he watching along does not, you know, he's not nonplussed by this. Anthony Miller out. tweeted after the game that bleep is embarrassing. Yep. That the, it's like one of the players yeah. in the game right away is embarrassed. And it is. Like, it, it's such a negative story to start the week, but I think we had to address that because it was really that bad. And the Packers maybe are. Are we done play. talking Bears for the rest of the season? That's it. Yeah, like, that, so like, we're, that's done. it. We'll see you next year. Okay. Are we that's done it. talking Nagy and how much, you know, no. we're putting on him? Because that's going to be a conversation we're going to have to have. Nate, let's go. Giants. Let's do that. Let's go to Giants, Bengals. All right, here's the highlights for you. Brandon Allen making his fourth NFL start. He was activated off the practice squad last week, November 23rd. And here he is dropping back. And who is he looking for? That's T. Higgins right there. He's had himself quite a season, right? Something about that 85 is starting to become his own. I used to see Ocho Cinco with that 85. Now I see T. Higgins. Okay, Daniel Jones, he tweaked his hamstring in the third quarter. Now still a game, though, 19 to 17. Don't give it away, Giants. Left. Giants, don't you do it. And they do not. Okay. The Giants sacked by Jabal Sheard and is recovered by the cat. He can. Leonard Williams. All right, how about that? Yeah. The Giants. Yeah, coach. Talking about walking out this movie. If you're a Giants fan and you walked out this movie, you better turn your butt Welcome back around. We don't want you. They are the NFC East leaders right now.
They certainly are. Now you're excited about that, Nate. Let's bring in Ian Rappaport. Ian, welcome to the show. Happy Monday to you. I'm giving the G-men some love because I don't know how long I'll be wearing this jacket. They are on top for right now. We did see Daniel Jones leave the game early. What is the latest with the Giants quarterback? Yeah, the Giants on top. First place right now, but the schedule gets very, very tough. They face Seattle, and then they face the Cardinals. Obviously, uh, they had a, a tough loss yesterday, but the Giants now okay, do face the prospect of not having Daniel Jones for the next game. It's not certain he's going to get an MRI uh, today, but he did come up with a pulled hamstring here right after this seven-yard run. It kind of tightened up on him a little bit, went to the bench, was cleared to return, played a couple plays, just really could not push off on that leg at all had to come back out and it was Cole McCoy who finished out this win the Giants as of right now are not sure about the severity and one thing that Joe Judge the head coach said in post game was that he is optimistic this is something that Daniel Jones could play through potentially but we have seen guys uh, err on the side of caution we have seen teams err on the side of caution with a hamstring it's not going to get any better with playing that is why the Giants, as of right now, do face the prospect of not having Daniel Jones for a little bit now. Thank you so much.